what? How do I have all these colors, right? All these blues, all these greens. I did this with OKPAL, this great tool which lets you change the colors. It is pretty much straightforward. You just unlock a color and then just change its parameters however you want, right? But not only that. Let's say I want this hex color. Go in OKPAL, new color, 32, which is black. As you can see, I added a new color. So once done, let's see if it worked. I just cleaned the screen with the color 32 I just modified, right? Let's save this. Untitled 17, perfect. <laughs> but it's black. How is it possible? Well, it's because you have first to tell it where to poke. So what does this mean? By doing this, we tell the program to just use this palette, pal.0.pal. So we're just fetching the file of the palette, right? And putting it in this memory, all right? So pwd just returns the path of the cart it is run from, okay? It could be ROM cart, desktop, it could be app data, right? So by doing this, we tell it, go take this file. Where is this file? It's here. It's in ROM, cart, pal. It just creates a pal folder inside our cart with our palette. This means we can have more than one palette. We can call it one.pal or we can even call it year.pal. <laughs> so we can do something like this. If we press left, then it loads this palette. If we press right, then it calls year.pal. I want to get this color now, year.pal. Alright, so we have two different colors. You run it. Left, right, left, right. Yeah. So this is powerful. We can have unlimited colors in Picotron. However, only 64 at a time can be shown. It's a lot of them if you consider that the screen is only 480 by 270. So I think it's pretty much straightforward, right? You can even change the shading a bit like you're using this green and you say, mm, I want a darker one, a darker tone for what I need to do. You just copy it with Ctrl C and paste it, Control V, and then you can just change it a bit, however you want. You want it a bit darker, here it is, right? You can even watch it like this, you can see the shadings and test something out. So that's it. I wanted to thank Drachmaniso for making this great tool, which is OKPAL, OK because it is so, so useful and if you guys got any question for next videos, just ask. Leave a like, subscribe and all that other stuff.